71 champions on right now. 71 champions mean that we are definitely going to give away 50, 60, 70, three door prizes tonight, Pam swag. And if we get up to 80, we'll give it around way again and again. And all, and for every 10, we give another way one of Pam swags. Ooh, I ordered more swag today. You guys are going to love it. You want to be in on Pam swag. All right. And so we're, all right. And next we want to share with you that we are doing really well on recruiting. Look at that. We've already made our goal for the week. You see this right here? This eight is what our goal was. It's what we did last year wasn't really our goal because we want to go over that. But I would say that we want every single week to be around 18 to 20. And congratulations, because this has been your best week yet in recruiting. That's awesome. And our sales, we are climbing up there. We've got another 24 hours. And uh, that's what you guys are. You're, you know, I don't know, home base out of Cleveland. You're cardiac kids for sure. And the majority of our sales comes in in the last 24 hours. And so we'll be excited to watch that goal we made. And as we make our goal, we are going to give away $50 when we make our sales goal, $50 when we make our recruiting goal for the month, and $50 when we make our promoting goal for the month. And several of you have been winning that. It's been really, really fun to have different, uh, different uh, leaders and friends on the team win. And all you have to do to be in the recruiting goal is put a recruit in and that gives you one chance put in 10 recruits and you have 10 chances if you step up to any level you have a chance and if you have a hundred dollars or more in part in sales you have a chance to win um the 50 dollars gift card from the amazon gift card and I have told, shared with you last week, and I thought you should know, we are climbing, climbing, climbing to our ultimate goal for the year. And this is the business leader's top goal of the year, every single year. And our goal is $2,930,000. 2, um, and I will share with you, uh, I'm sorry, our goal is $3,460,000. We're right now setting at 2900000 
130,000. We have um, really, really climbed, and I am so proud of you guys. You can see some really big months here. This was the month of May, and we had a really good July, and we're going to close out a really good September. And so congratulations to you guys. Now, five weeks in September was a really great week, month to make things happen. Here's our first goal, draw, uh, drawing that we're going to have, and this is for a $20 Amazon card. And every leader in our company is given a weekly goal. And when they make their weekly goal, they go into the draw lane for a $20 Amazon gift card. And your goal is your title and um, according to your title. And so in order to make your, uh, your, your goal, a manager needs to do 2,100. A star manager needs to do 3,500. An executive needs to do, okay, $2,100. Um, a director needs 3,500. That's right. Okay. And, and so once you hit your goal, you're in the drawing. And so you can see these, uh, I see Raptors, Angela Beck hit her goal this week. I also see over here, Chris Morgan hit her goal this week. And we also see, um, look at the goals we, this week. We have um, Nora Ritter hit her goal and uh, Mary Simpson hit her goal. And Paula Berry hit her goal. And one more page. And we have Extreme Stars, um, Jessica Gordon hit her goal, and Loretta's team hit their goal, and Cheryl Tiber hit her goal. Uh, so congratulations, that are this week goals, week three goals, see right there? And so congratulations. So this is how this rolls. And so right now we're gonna do week two, because last week is the week that we should be doing the drawing for, not this week, it's not over yet. And so we need to do a drawing with week two, and all of those who achieve, achieve their week two, so one, two, three, four, five, and here we go, six, seven, eight, and nine, 10. So 10 winners last week. And it is Paula Berry. Congratulations from the Par, Par, Par Excellence. You just won a $20 Amazon gift card, okay? So send me your information tonight. Everything I give away during the event tonight, you submit, send me a message on Messenger within 24 hours to claim your prize, okay? So congratulations, Paula Berry. All right, so next we want to move on over to our sale that started today. Are you guys so pumped about these? These are beautiful. First of all, I have to share with you, the canister set, $59 for all of those canisters is a great deal for you. It's a $92 set. Your customers will love it. This is a beautiful set that you can also get that set is only a $67 set, only $39. And this is where you can label it with a chalk marker or you can get those vinyl uh, iron, you know, logos that you just kill and stick. Uh, either one of them, it can say any language you like. I like to call this one the bilingual canister set because you can put Spanish in there, you can put English, you can put French in there. It's whatever language you want it to be when you order your logos or if you write on it with your um, with your uh, chalk marker. I'll be honest with you, I don't use chalk markers, but if you test it, you can see, you can write on it with a Sharpie and alcohol will take it off when you wanna change it. So rubbing alcohol, but test it first. So you don't wanna, you wanna make sure it gives, gives you uh, the results you want. And I really haven't seen a problem with anything that I've put on um, with rubbing alcohol, but you check it out, okay? All right, so the Jello ring, extremely popular, yay. And we're celebrating with our little Jellettes. And I love our large spice and small spice because I like to make my own seasonings as well. And they're always good for that. But you wanna put all of your spices in airtight lock containers because they last so much longer and stay so much more potent. Spices are like potpourri for food, and potpourri doesn't last if the air hits it. It doesn't smell pretty, all right? And if you can't smell your spices, you know what? They're not adding the flavor to your food that you want, that you bought them for. And then our little turnover maker, so, super, super cute. Whether you're making, um, you know, if you're uh, in, enchiladas or turnovers or whatever you're making with them, you've got it right there, okay? Empanadas, there you go. <laughs> All right, um, so we talked about our kit, the $60 kit and the large kit. Either kit you choose, even if you choose the virtual kit, in the Confidence Start program, there is a level that if you sell $1,000 in your first 60 days, they give you $60 back and they give you $60 in your account. And so when you go to place the next order, you are gonna owe a lot less than you assumed because it's gonna have that $60 credit in there. And so be aware of that, know that, because that uh, even if you only paid 15 or if you paid the 60 or if you paid the 109, you can still qualify for that $60 rebate 
back um, back at you, all right? Um, and of course, we talked about our smoothie and our party bonus for only $10. It's a $10 party bonus with $500 in sales submitted by September 30th and um, $15 for the smoothie for you and your first recruit. And here's what you're gonna get in the um, recruiting bonus for three recruits this month. Everybody with three is gonna get the microfiber towel collection. All right, so all of our guests, don't forget, you should be signing in on the chat that you're a guest here with us tonight so we can make sure we have you in a drawing for our $30 in free Tupperware. You get to go to the big catalog and pick anything you want out of free Tupperware. Um, so we have an amazing host program. And right now we're gonna turn it over to Nancy Lagan in a second. And she's gonna tell you about the extra perks that our hostesses can get because for only a $500 party and two datings, all of our hosts can choose between which one of the master systems they'd like to get started with. Now they will get the base and the base sells for $39, and they get to add the, the master system they choose to the top, so they can have the shredder, they can have the uh, spiralizer, or they can have the fusion master. Get excited right now, because you're gonna hear from the pro, our very own Nancy Lagan. Whoops, where's her picture? Nancy Lagan, there she is. Uh, thank you, Nancy Lagan, take it over. Okay, hi, everybody. Um, <clears throat> my name is Nancy Lagan. Most of you know me, some of you don't know me. Um, I have been in Tupperware a very long time, and I came into Tupperware in 1975 just to talk to somebody over two feet tall, and I didn't need the money. I just was in the corporate world and wanted to talk to some adults, and so that's why I joined. Absolutely fell in love with the whole business, and I did it for five years, and don't ask me why I quit. I was doing a lot of parties, made a lot of money. Um, I wasn't a manager or anything. I just did it as a very part-time consultant, but I did parties almost every night of the week. And then I quit for a long time and came back in 1993. Um, when I came back, I only wanted to do Tupperware for one day. I wanted to do a fundraiser for my Girl Scouts and I didn't want to date any parties. I didn't want a business. I just wanted all the money so I could put it in my account and pay for our camping for the year. And so I did that, but I dated like nine parties. There were 60 people at my house for this party. The girls, my Girl Scouts really rallied around and brought a lot of people over. We had a lot of fun, but I dated parties. Well then, you know, how do you give up parties when you date parties? So I did those nine parties and here I still am all these years later um, because I never did quit. And uh, in five years, I was um, top of the nation. And I'm not telling you that to brag. I'm just telling you that this business, you could be sitting there brand new today and in a month or two or, or whatever you want, you can go to the top and make, you know, get cars and trips. I had three, four cars a year. I had trips all over the world with my husband. It, it was just great. And I still was home with my kids and that was what was important to me. And uh, then I was a business leader for um, Pam and Jim promoted me in 98 to be a business leader. And I did that for 18 years. And then four years ago, I uh, wanted to spend more time with my grandkids and go more part time. So I stepped back and merged my company with Pam and now I'm happy, so happy because I'm just doing what I love, um, parties, my team, I love it and, and Pam and Jim do the rallies and I just love all of that. And I'm learning from all of you, all this virtual stuff. So, you know, everything is really great. So tonight I wanna to show you how to use these systems. This is a Fusion Master system and it is a system. And so you can um, have all three of these in your home or just one. We have the Great Master Shredder, we have the Spiralizer, and we have the Mincer. And so Pam was sharing with you that there's a really great deal right now where you can have a $500 party and get one of these for $30 if you have 502 datings. Well, I'm gonna tell you a little secret later on how you might be able to get them all for free. But first of all, I wanna go through them all and <clears throat> show you about them so you know what they do. So when someone asks you, what does the shredder do? You'll know what it does. Um, this is the Great Master Shredder. When you purchase it for $99 in the catalog, you do get a base, okay? You get a base with each of these systems and it has a suction hold onto it. And so all you do is turn this little handle and the bottom and it suctions to your countertop. And so it will not stick to a plastic table. So if you're to show, make sure you take a piece of granite or a little um, tile to put it on so it'll adhere to that. So it locks it in place and it's not gonna move. It comes with two cones and this is the fine shredder and I have the regular shredder inside there. And they're very easy to put together. You just put the cone in there, put the handle on and you're ready to go. Um, you can also purchase three other cones with this. 
This is our slicer cone, and this is great if you want sliced cucumbers, carrots, um, anything in your salad you want sliced, this is your slicer cone. And then we have the coarse grater, uh, grinder actually, for nuts, for chocolate, graham crackers, anything like that. And then this is one of my favorites, but it does come with a very heavy plastic cover. And the reason for that is because it's very, very sharp. And so you never grab these by the bottom, you always grab them by the top so that you don't get cut. And this will shave your ice and make snow cones for your kids, your grandkids, adults, whoever you wanna make snow cones with. It is so fun. And we do that all the time. And those three cones you can purchase separately in the catalog. So tonight I'm gonna to show you how to grate cheese because when you buy cheese in the grocery store in those bags, there's wood shavings in there and you don't really wanna serve your family that. See, because these three systems are gonna save you time and money and taste, and taste is so important. You know, if you use the freshest ingredients, you're gonna have the best food that you can serve to your family. And that's why these systems are wonderful to have in your home. And so if you buy cheese in a block, I, these are usually on sale. Um, this one, I, three for five bucks or something like that. And then um, I always have my grandkids come over and do this because they love shredding it. So I put that in, this is a hopper, okay? And this is a little plunger. And this is just to hold your food down because if you put your hands in here and keep pushing down, what happens is, is that you're gonna cut your hand when your hand gets down to the blade. So if you use the protection of this um, plunger, you won't ever have to worry about your hands um, getting cut. But this is too long right now, so I just put it in the top and I'm just gonna turn it, okay? And as you can see, that cheese is coming out amazing. And it just grates so, so, so easy. And now I have it down to the top, so I'm now going to put the plunger in there so that when I grate the rest of it, I don't cut my hands. And you just keep grating your whole block in minutes, in minutes. And so who would not like fresh cheese like that to put in your mac and cheese, to serve to your grandkids, to serve to your kids? Um, it's just wonderful. Now, if you buy a big block and you get it on sale and you want to um, freeze it, you can do that. And if you put a little cornstarch in with the cheese, in the grate uh, with the cheese, and then freeze it, it will um, not stick together. So you can freeze it for a while and it'll be fresh cheese. And if you taste, put cheese, this cheese I grated, and then put cheese from a bag, you will see the difference immediately in the taste. And that's what's really important. Um, and so I also make a carrot cake and I also do zucchini bread. Um, great recipe for zucchini bread. And so um, I am going to grate some carrots for you. Now, I would normally put in the finer shredder, but I'm not gonna do that tonight just for time. So I just bought some carrots in the store. Of course, they're stored in our Fridge Smarts. I've had them here for a month and a half. No, I have not, I'm just joking. Um, but I have had them in here for about two weeks and they're just fresh like the day I bought them. And so I'm just gonna put the carrots in there and I'm going to shred them. And see how they're coming out, they're coming out so great, now I'm making a big salad for a friend this week who's moving. And so I love to have carrots that are grated in that salad rather than um, when I, you cut a carrot, it's so hard to chew. And so I like to do it that way to put it in there. And so look at that, that's amazing how that comes out, the grated carrots. And so um, I would grate all of that a little bit later, but I just wanted to show you how this works. That's your great master shredder. The bases are 39 and the tops of all of these are 59, but oh my gosh, for $30, why would you pay full price? That's why you have Tupperware parties because you never wanna pay full price for anything in Tupperware because you don't need to, because when you have a party, you can get it half price, free, you can get all kinds of bonuses when you host a Tupperware party. And parties are fun. And you can do a Zoom party, you can do a Zoom bingo, you can do a Facebook Live, you can do a real party, any kind of party you want. It's the wide open door in Tupperware today. Now this is our spiralizer. And in the spiralizer, there are three blades. This blade is for spiralizing the thin cut. This is a thicker cut for spiralizing. And then this blade here is for ribbon cutting. And I'm gonna show you on a potato how to do that to make your ribbon cut potatoes. And when you put them in, always hold them by this little top part because you don't wanna get cut. If you get cut, it's really sharp. And so I have clean zucchini and cucumber. Now most of you 
would not take all the skins off because the healthy part is in the skin, but I don't like skin of any kind. So I did um, take all the skin off and all you do is you put that um, zucchini in there and it locks it in because if you can see this right here, this is a very sharp end and that holds the zucchini against the blade so that you can um, turn it and you lock it in place. Once you lock it in place, all you do is turn this and as you can see, this is just spiralizing your zucchini. And you can take the zucchini and you can um, put it in our grill with some olive oil and salt and pepper and some seasonings. And um, you can have uh, zucchini spaghetti. And when it stops, okay, it stops. And then you just open it, okay, you unlock it. And then you wanna take out the little bit that's left in there because don't put your hand in there, but you take out that little bit left and I'll just cut that part up later. But that's your zucchini spiralized. And what's really fun, it's very healthy to eat that. And you know, you pay more in the store when you go to buy your zucchini zoodled like that, you pay more per pound, check it out. Cause it's really better to just buy a zucchini. They're cheap and come home and do it. Now I like cucumbers in my salad, but I don't like chunks again. So I'm going to take a cucumber and I'm going to put it in here. Wait, that's the zucchini, hold on. Wrong one, okay. I'm gonna put my cucumber in there, lock it in place and zoodle it. And I made a salad last week and zoodled these and it tasted so good because the cucumber was real thin and it was really um, nice to eat in my salad. It wasn't a big chunk of piece. And there you have the cucumbers. So I have a cucumber salad. You can put a little bit of onion if you want, some grated carrots and you can have your cucumber salad. Now I'm gonna make you some potatoes, okay? But I'm going to take out the one blade and put in the ribbon cut blade. And again, I'm just gonna lock it in these two little places right here. There's two little grooves that it fits in and lock it shut. Now I've already cleaned my potatoes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the potato inside the spiralizer, lock it in place, and I'm going to take a skewer. Now this is just a shish kebab skewer, and I'm going to put it in the little hole that's in the bottom. Now watch, this is like magic. And when you turn it, whoops, I put this under it. When you turn it, it's going to ribbon cut that potato onto the skewer, and then when you go to roast them in the oven, it's beautiful, and it's so easy to do. Think about having your kids do this with you. Kids love to do fun things. And there you have the little skewer of the ribbon cut potatoes. And you can spread them out like this and just put them in a, in a little pan like that and put them into the oven because it really will cook them great. A little olive oil, salt, and pepper, some seasonings. And that is amazing. So this is an amazing thing. And you know, you might not use it every day, but think about when you wanna do a zoodle or you wanna do potatoes differently. You have this in your home to do that with instead of going to the store and buying it made like that. And now we move on to the mincer. And the mincer, okay, is um, really great to make your ham salads. And I don't have any ham here tonight, but I did make ham salad when I did my other video on Rocket. But it will grind anything. And you remember your grandma had that grinder and it hooked underneath the table and you locked it on. Well, that's what this mincer does. It grinds that great, just like grandma's old grinder did that attached to the tabletop and you turned it. And so this has different pieces to it. Um, and there's also a little attachment that you can make sausages if you prefer to make your own sausage. And so I am going to take some, I don't like to buy ground meat in the store. I don't like to buy ground turkey or chicken because I don't know how fresh it is. And I love, I'm a foodie. Um, and so I love to have fresh ingredients and fresh food. So I bought some chuck roast, okay? And this is just a piece of chuck roast cut up. And you know, a lot of times they have them buy one, get one. And so this is, um, I just put it inside the top and then I just put on my little plunger and turn this and it's gonna make hamburgers right out of this piece of meat. And look at that. It's just grinding it up and coming out and making fresh burger meat. Now that is a fresh steak burger, okay? And here's what it looks like when it comes out. It's amazing. And you just form your patty and make it um, a burger. Now I would definitely, I definitely would um, not put anything else normally in here after I used chicken for sure because of salmonella. So if you grind chicken, please take it all apart, wash it really well, 
and then put it back together to grind something else. But tonight I just want to show you how to do this. And so I'm going to put um, my chicken right in here because I'm going to make these burgers tonight after the uh, meeting for dinner. And so I'm going to put some chicken in here, but I want to show you how it works because you can buy chicken breast cheap on sale and check out the price of ground turkey, of ground chicken. It's expensive, but chicken breast is a lot of times on sale for $1.99 a pound, sometimes cheaper if you get a lot of it. And you can just make chicken burgers, turkey burgers. Um, you can buy turkey breast meat in the store and do the same thing. So watch, I'm just gonna put that in there and I'm gonna turn it and here is my chicken coming out. Now there's a little beef with it, so we have some unique chicken burgers tonight, okay? And that's how great it is. And it just grinds it perfectly for burgers or for meatballs. You can make your meatballs or any of that. So we have three different systems and you know what? Maybe you're saying, oh, I want the spiralizer. No, I think I want the mincer. Well, guess what? I think you should get them all. So let me tell you how to do that. All you have to do is date a Tupperware party and have um, $500 in sales and two of your friends having a party to help you out. When you do that, you get one for $30. But think for a minute, if you joined Tupperware before you hosted that Tupperware party. So join Tupperware, whether it's $15, whether it's $109, whether it's $60, whatever kit you want, join Tupperware, then host your Tupperware party. But don't do all your friends in one party. So we all have a lot of friends. We have our work friends, we have our school friends, kids' friends, moms. We have our friends and relatives, neighbors, all different groups. So do a Facebook party or a real party or a Zoom party or a bingo party and set it up in different groups, three different groups, okay? Because you want all three of these for free. So you're now a new consultant and you host your party, set them all up tomorrow, okay? It doesn't take long to set up Facebook parties. Set them up tomorrow. And the one group could be friends and relatives only. The next group could be work associates and maybe you're a teacher and have teacher friends. Maybe it's the neighbors in that group. And the last group, you could have kids, friends, moms. So you have three different groups, three different parties, and you start them at the beginning of the week and you close them at the end of the week if it's a Facebook party. And I guarantee you, you're gonna probably have at least $500 from each of those parties. People love Tupperware. And when they see how these products work, they want them in your home, they're amazing. And so if you had 500, 500 and 500, that's $1,500 in sales. As a consultant, you make 25%. You would make $375 in profit from those three Tupperware parties. On each $500 party, you get $75 of free Tupperware or a hostess gift. So think about it. If you got 75, 75, and 75, that's $225 of free Tupperware, three thank you gifts, and six half off items. Plus, you would get all of these 30, 60, and 90 bucks. But you're a consultant now, so take 100 bucks off, 30, 60, 90, and some tax and shipping off of that $375 profit you just made on that $1,500 in sales. And now you have all three of these for free to add to your kit this week. Think about that. That is amazing. So I want to tell you that if I can do it, you can do it. And you can have fun with this business. It's always fun. Make it fun. Try these products. And I know that you probably are loving them by now because you've seen them in action. And that's all you have to do with customers. Show them how they work. They fall in love with our products. So have fun. I hope that you have three parties by the end of next week. You'll have great profit. You'll have lots of free Tupperware and you'll have all of your Fusion Masters absolutely free. Bye. Woohoo! Awesome job, Nancy. Woohoo! Who Thank loved you. it? Go ahead and tell us in the chat how much you loved that. That was amazing. All right, so we are going to go back to our shared screen and um, Thank you so much, Nancy. Slideshow from uh, current slide. All right, thank you so much, Nancy. Nancy is amazing. She's a, a every girlfriend's friend and you would just love her, love her, love her. And her demonstration skills are off the chart. We appreciate you so much, Nancy. So give her some love in the chat. We love to hear and appreciate our people. All right, so if you love demonstrating, you might wanna check out tomorrow night, we're gonna have Cooking with Champions and it starts at eight o'clock uh, tomorrow night and it is with our uh, director, Mary Pyatt and her star power team. And so don't forget, 
beyond tomorrow night, eight o'clock. It starts with me and I go over the Tupperware kit and welcome people. Actually, I go over it sometime during the event, not necessarily at the beginning. It's all about cooking. We show them the kit in case they'd like to have their discount um, and the opportunity for only $15, okay? So thank you. There's an invitation that'll go up this evening um, and uh, you simply send them the Zoom link and you send them this invitation um, and you can find it under the, uh, our events on September the 16th, okay? All right, and so next we wanna just tell you that we had so much fun looking at your pictures. <laughs> it was adorable. I enjoyed watching all of your senior pictures. And so Mama Shark, whether you're a mom or not, it's Mama Shark because you're the mom of your business. Uh, congratulations, one through 27, actually put your picture up there. And um, I can't win. So I put my picture here, my senior picture here. I was a Baby. Okay, right. guys. And so personal sellers, look who is rocking it. Deb Norris is at 1,781. Angie Keaton is 1,858. Cheryl Tiber is 1,800. Uh, Nikki is at 1,900. Kathy is 2,000. Angela Beck is 2,000. And, and um, Amanda Bell is 2,400. Amanda Bell, you're killing it. I love it. And Lori Morris, killing it at 2,500. Jamie Boy, killing it at 2,500. And number one is Nikki Micah. Congratulations. Nikki has always been known as our uh, Facebook party uh, uh, champion, actually. And congratulations to you, Nikki, doing a phenomenal job on your personal parties. Unit sellers, congratulations to our top unit sales. Uh, Melissa's number five and Deb Longwood is number four. Debbie Morris is number three. Tammy Hockey is number two. And number one is Kathy Burney at 5,000. 381. That is awesome, Kathy. Congratulations. Director team sellers, congratulations, Melissa Tenney and Jessica Gordon and Nancy Lagan. Number two is Nikki Micah. Number one, over 10,000, Angela Beck. Way to go, girl. She's actually number one in the entire company, not just director team sales, but all director teams. All right. And so director teams that are organization and leaders, number one, uh, five is Loretta, then Jennifer, then Kelly, then Manel Franklin, and number one, Ellen Lewis. Congratulations. And then we also have our organizational sales. Congratulations, Lori Morris. Uh, number five, Loretta, number four, uh, Manel Franklin, number three, Amy Gardner, number two, and number one, Ellen Lewis at 68,000. Now remember, it's five weeks and we're getting ready to close week three. So we have two more full weeks. Who shared their aha last week? Well, we got your name up here. We had 48 people share their aha from last week's rally. And so Tupper Tuesday is always going to have ahas on Facebook. So you you can share things you learned tonight and have a chance to win Pam swag next Tuesday night. And so, Alexa, give me a number between one and 43. 37 is Christy. Congratulations. And Christy, you are the lucky winner. And that is Christy uh, Weber. Congratulations. Now, you need to message me, Christy. Uh, within the next 24 hours, say I was a winner of Pam swag from uh, last Tuesday's AHA. All right. Okay, so now it's time for us to take it over to uh, time saving ideas from a mama shark, and that is Angela back on how she organizes her life to save more time in her home. So, Angela, what do you have to share with us? Hey, everyone, how are you? Uh, my name is Angela, I'm one of the Tupperware directors, and I just wanted to come on and tell you a couple things. Well, first of all, I want to thank you, Pam. I want to thank all of you for all your hard work these past few months because I know Pam tells us good job, keep it up and everything, but all the directors, we see you working and we talk about every single one of you, believe it or not. Whether you have $1 in sales or 1 million in sales, we talk about you and we recognize that. So coming from directors, please know that we do notice you and we're doing our best to make sure you know that you're noticed. So on to saving techniques. So I am 45 with a little, two little boys. They are six and seven and they're very active. One of them is in a cast right now with braces and things that save us are making pots and pots of like homemade sauces. And the reason I say sauce, like pasta sauce is because we have um, braces Friday where Baird has to go every two weeks and have his braces adjusted. And that's the day that he doesn't eat a lot of solid food because he's sore. 
So what I've done is I've taken all my freezer containers. I have 22 freezer containers full of sauce right now. And they're all frozen and labeled. They just say sauce. And the, everybody knows that when he has that adjustment, we just grab a container out of the freezer. We grab our pasta microwave maker and 10 minutes in the microwave while that's going on. And you can just wiggle your freezer containers and your sauce will clump right out. So I just pop it into a saucepan and there you go. We have dinner. Um, yesterday, day before yesterday, I took a ham bone with ham left on it. They were done picking at it and threw that into one of the biggest Tupperware pots I have, filled it up with water and some chicken stock and tons of vegetables and whatever they didn't eat as of today, I'm going to go ahead and freeze that into about 12 containers. So, and we're going to have ham soup. It's just a vegetable base. I mean, it's very, you can mix it in with other things. I can use it for my turkey. I can use it to baste. I can do whatever with it. But it's all fresh stuff from the farmer's market. That's the biggest thing is I'll go on Saturday when I work at the one. I buy a ton of fruits and veggies and I freeze so much. So people are like, oh, I don't know what to cook. I, I don't know how to feed my kids a home cooked meal every day. You don't have to cook every day to have a home cooked meal. So I pick a day and I try not to do Saturday or Sunday because that's the day that we're all home. I try to do like a Friday or something, get the pot going in the morning. Those of you that work, when you come home, throw everything in the pot, let it simmer throughout the evening till bedtime. And then you're going to be able to freeze that stuff. I let it sit on the stove overnight, let everything cool down, put it in my containers and label them. But the whole thing is at least five, six nights a week, they have a home cook meal, even if I didn't make it on that day. And that's the biggest saving grace. Don't get me wrong. There's days that I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And I grab a bunch of stuff and I throw it in the pressure cooker. Amazing. Let it go. We have some kind of magical meal. But honestly, freezing next is applesauce. The kids love applesauce. So once the farmers get them in, I buy them by the case. I tell them, don't worry if they're bruised. They usually give me a discount on the case then. And nothing goes to waste in our house. So if I cut up an apple, we leave the skins on to make sauce. We just decor it. But all my animals eat the ends. So if you have animals, that stuff's good for them. So everybody here gets a treat. The kids love homemade applesauce. I don't put anything else in it. It's just apples, but I leave the skins and everything on. And then I take my masher and I mash it in the pan and it's wonderful, but I freeze it and they take it for lunches and I make all the applesauce cups that way. So honestly, your kids can eat a home cooked meal seven days a week that you could prep in one day, not even a full day. I don't have to stand there and stir my pot. Every time one of us walks by, we stir it just to make sure it's okay. But I recommend getting freezer containers, hitting your farmer's markets right now is everything's in season, everything. It's the perfect time to do that and know that your family is cooking or eating a home cooked meal, but you're spending so much time with your family doing homework, doing the schoolwork, being a teacher, a mom, a wife. You know what I'm saying? We have so much on our plate already. Why stress out about food when you can knock it all out of the park in less than four or five hours in one day and know that your kids you know what they're eating then you know what they're putting in their mouth you know there's no chemicals you know there's no garbage in there it's all home cooked stuff and they love it so that's what i have for you tonight thank you so much angela appreciate you and so we're going to back to our screen if you love it if you like any of our ideas you have all kinds of uh uh, love this, love this over there. Thank you, Angela. All right, back to our screens and thanks, Angela. Um, our, our director, um, personal recruiting, who's doing great? Our consultants in personal recruiting, we have Kaylee uh, and Jennifer, the, this is the entire company, personal recruiting, and Paula Berry, uh, number eight, and number seven is Deb Morris, number six is Kathy, number five is Gina Flower, Christy, Jackson is number four. Number three is Lori Morris. Number two is Manel Franklin. Number one is Catherine Henderson. Congratulations, Catherine. And you have a total of five new recruits. And so everybody with three or more, that would be Manel and Catherine, are going to get the towel collection. Yay, way to go. Uh, and of course you have two more weeks. All right, congratulations to our unit recruiters. We have Amy Beebe and uh, Rochelle Jones. Yay. Uh, Tamara and Paula and Kathy. And number five is Candace Jones. Number four is Deb Longwood. 
Number three, three is Heather Mast, and number two is Deb Morris, and number one is Sarah Young. Congratulations, that's awesome, unit recruiting. And then we also have our team uh, in recruiting, and we have Christy Greer and Nicole and Melissa, Gina Flower, and number one is Christy Jackson. And then our director plus teams, and these are the teams that are, um, are led by org, org leaders. Congratulations, Lori Morris, Loretta, Ellen, Manel, and number one is Amy Gardner. Way to go, Amy. And then the org leaders, congratulations to Lori Morris, Manel Franklin, Loretta, Amy Gardner, and Ellen Lewis. Oh, it's time to give something away. <laughs> this is Pam Swag again, and our winner is going to get another bag of Pam Swag, and these are posts that you put on. If you're a leader, you were on training on Friday night uh, from our Record Breaker Workshop, and we had 35 of you post ahas that you thought was really cool from the training. And so if you're on, we're gonna actually ask you to share what you loved about the training. And so Alexa, give me a number between one and 35. 10, and it's Melissa Tenney. I think she's on vacation. Um, when you hear this, you'll know that you actually won swag tonight and we'll get that out to you. And so congratulations to your success and uh, thank you for taking the time on vacation to even listen to this uh, on Friday night. All right, and then we also have those on Saturday, 36 of you uh, uh, responded to, hey, I loved this or hey, I love that on the Saturday training. And oh my gosh, was that an amazing training. You guys really got some top-notch training. And I'm sure whoever is uh, gonna win right now can share with us what they loved about it. Alexa, give me a number between one and 36. 32 is Deb Morris and she's on vacation. <laughs> it was her 20th wedding anniversary last yesterday I, actually I, I am here yay, yay i came <laughs> home <laughs> all right well on saturday what did you hear that you really enjoyed that you uh, might have said already to us on on the post but you know you really liked i really enjoyed um i think her name was um mandy mandy her yes yeah, I, I I got a lot out of hers and how to do the Tupperware, uh, face or the uh, the Facebook uh, parties and her template. I'm looking forward to getting that from her, but I thought that was great. Yes, right, uh, amazing job, and she really was a great trainer. Um, and went slow enough for us really to comprehend it too as well. So that was a good part about her training. Excellent job. Okay, and next we wanna to go to Angela. She's got more ideas on how to be a mama shark and make sure that you're organizing your life to make your life easier and better. And we're doing all of this because we're getting ready to go into Record Breaker. And I have to share with you, if I have not told you already, now, please don't be shocked, but <laughs> Record Breaker is when we ask you to really, really give 100%. And we say, no sex, no supper, just tupper, tupper, tupper. <laughs> and we're kidding about the supper we want you to eat. But honestly, <laughs> I want you to know that it is an all-go time. We're asking everybody to give 100% and to get ready to make really big things happen. And you know what? It's time to ramp it up right now and get started at that because what happens in the end of September folds over into October and really helps grow your October even bigger. So pulling in parties right now for the last two weeks of September is super important. And I want you to know that there's big news coming. So you want to keep engaged completely uh, every single Thursday, you need to go to your computer and you need to open it up and you need to go to the team page and find out what's going on. Let's hear from Angela right now on how she saves time and money in the home. Okay, so um, how to save time and money. So just a little bit about what's going on here. Um, we chose the homeschool option for our kids. So um, some of you may do be doing that a little bit differently. You might have your kids going to school a couple days a week, or you might have them, you know, just online and they're old enough to do whatever. So my two younger kids are um, here at home and Ashlyn is in first grade now. So we are doing simultaneous learning, which is we get on at 8.50 in the morning and then we have school live on a Zoom all day to like three o'clock. So a lot of times she really needs my help. So I have to be right there and I'm kind of like involved with school. I have another job as a teacher <laughs> during the day too. So there's a couple of different things that I do 
Um, and this, you know, pertains to, you know, record breaker too, because we're going to be so busy during record breaker, we need to set ourselves up for success and um, do these simple things to be able to be prepared and, you know, be able to just grab things and um, ready to go. So one of, there's a lot of different systems with Tupperware that um, simplify your life, um, save you time, save you money. And one of those things that um, is really, really awesome for me right now is the freezer mate system. So um, they're not just a container or just a freezer mate. It's an actual system in my home, especially um, and right now it's magnified because I'm freezing everything. You know, everybody's garden, we're getting the peppers. Oh my goodness, peppers are going crazy right now. The green beans are ready to go in the freezer. Um, corn, I don't know if you guys have seen my, um, my pictures on Facebook, but we've been blanching and freezing corn and beans and um, things like that, getting it in the freezer. One of the things that you guys can do at home that um, I love, and this is a routine system that I do all the time, is freezing chicken. So I go to um, either Sam's Club or something like that, and I get the big packs of chicken breasts. See? And Nancy was right, if you buy the bigger packs, this was $1.98 uh, a pound. And um, these are really big, nice chicken breasts. And what I do is I, I take this apart and I put them on the cutting board and I cut them in half long ways. So um, they're a little bit skinnier because sometimes when you buy those chicken breasts, they're really big and fat. And sometimes I kind of don't want big fat chicken breasts, you know, I want like a medium normal size when we're, um, you know, cooking chicken noodle soup and we want to cut up chunks, cutting up chicken for kebabs or for soup or um, using the fusion master. Um, you know, sometimes um, some people might be on the Weight Watchers program. Chicken is zero points. So this is a big one for you. Um, but if you make chicken burger in your Fusion Master, um, you can freeze your chicken burger in here, go buy fresh, fresh is always best. So you can um, make your chicken burger and put it inside of here, or you can cut them up like I do, and okay. I'll show you guys. So here's a frozen one that I took out of the freezer. Um, they just go inside of there. I have, I usually fit about, depending on what size the chicken breast is, two or three whole chicken breasts. And I'm always preparing and doing things. So, you know, Sundays are my days. If, you know, my modular mates need refill, they go to the grocery store, do all that, refill the cereal containers and refill all my fruits and veggies and the fridge smart system. And then um, in the freezer too with these. So it's so nice through all of the chaos and everything going on to be able to walk to your cupboard, walk to your refrigerator, walk to the freezer and open it up and say, oh, thank goodness. At least I have this part of my life covered. You know, at least I have this in place and I don't have to worry about what's for supper. You know, you have stuff, you have it on hand and ready to go. So another thing that um, I like to do is try to keep things as normal as possible for the kids because not being able to get off and you know do the routine we try to keep a routine here even though we're not actually physically in school we still want to keep that routine you know we're not watching tv we're not watching movies we're not doing things like that during the school day um, we're when it's recess time we're going outside to play recess um, they're going playing in the, with the chickens or whatever they get into, but playing outside, being kids. Um, so one thing that is really fun to do is pack their lunch anyway. Yeah, we're home. Yeah, we can cook them a bowl of soup or do whatever. But to keep a little bit of normalcy, it's fun to pack their lunch. So um, I wanted to show you guys this. I love our containers that we have for um, packing lunch. Okay, so our lunch it sets, our Lunchable containers, what do you think their favorite thing is in the Lunchables that you buy from the store? Um, yeah, candy. <laughs> so um, I always have a little bit of candy on hand and we make our own Lunchables and you can stack those up. So in the middle of your crazy day, um, 
if you're homeschooling in the middle of your crazy day, that hour or half hour that the kids are having their lunch and they're outside playing recess, you don't have to worry about, oh, what am I going to make for lunch? I got to get this together. Okay, we got to get back on. We got to sign back on at one o'clock. You have that taken care of. Their lunch is packed in the fridge or whatever, and they can go and grab their lunch and have that cute little surprise of, you know, the candy in their little lunch containers. So um, just little things like that, uh, systems that you can have in place um, to make life easier. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Those were great ideas. Great ideas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have already showing you our um, board that we show that look like just look just like this, but it's different because this is the winner's circle. The winner's circle is for the entire month for our leaders. And so when they make their winner's goal, they're going to have a chance at a $50 Amazon gift card. Now, it used to be we did a $100 Amazon gift card. You didn't see your number until, you know, you saw your number, but it was not sorted with your team. And so this is easier to find your team and then find all the leaders on that team and see where they're at on their goals. This is easier because now it is a $50 gift card, but we're doing a $20 every week. So this week we're doing $20 for five weeks. And so that's a hundred dollars. And then we're also giving away 50. And so now we're giving away 150 instead of a hundred. So this is exciting because you want to be in the $50 drawing. That's the grand prize at the end of the month when you made your goal for the month. Now making your weekly goal is going to help you be in a weekly draw for $20 and making the month goal is going to get you in a drawing for a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. We love to help you build your business and love to break it down to bite-sized pieces because Yard by yard, it's hard. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. And so when you break it down, you'll see that it's totally achievable. And here you have the big goals. These are for the month and those are your goals. Now these goals are just are, are set by your title uh, plus a recruit. You have to have that personal recruit. Go 10% over your title plus a uh, personal recruit. And so doesn't matter what you did last year. This is your title plus 10% um, and a recruit. And you can see all of those getting close to making their goals. And this will get posted tonight so you can keep track of your monthly goal as well. All right. Now it's time for us to hear about Ellen Lewis and her shark saving tips from Mama Shark five-star director Ellen Lewis. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Ellen. All right, so um, I do a lot of uh, what the uh, two Angelas already shared. Um, I do a lot of meal prep because there is, um, there's a lot of things I can't eat that come from the freezer. Um, so I have to make my own. Um, so, but what I have a tendency to do is I cook double and triple batches when I am cooking dinner and then I freeze ha at least half of it. Um, so that just saves me time. So I don't have to necessarily carve out an entire day of meal prep. Um, and then also, yes, I, I buy in bulk and I kind of repurpose it and do things like that with it. Um, and I do have pre-made food for my kids because um, after school, it's just like a weird roller coaster all over the greater Akron area, trying to pick up kids and deliver them where they need to go. And it's a big rotation and it takes a couple hours in the car. So um, I always try to have snacks on hand for them. Um, and what I find when it comes to time-saving tips for us, right, as the heads of our household, um, it's really important to do everything you can to make things easier and to take some of the burden off of yourself. Because if you're anything like me, um, you have a tendency to just kind of take it all on, right? Um, and years ago, I did it all. I did all the laundry and I did all the cleaning and all the cooking as well as growing this amazing business. And um, it was a lot. And I asked for help for many, many years and um, I didn't really receive it. Um, and then finally, when uh, my husband, unfortunately it took for him losing his job to actually see the amount of work I was doing around the house, um, he started kind of pitching in some more. And I have to be honest, um, for those of you that do all of those things, um, it's worth the fight. It's worth the fight of just kind of like continuing to ask for help because one of the things as women we don't do is ask for help. And so if you're struggling with your schedule and with doing everything, it's okay to ask for help. Um, so ask for help of whoever your partner is or spouse or a family member that helps you from time to time. Um, and then also 
it's okay to ask your kids for help. You had chores growing up, right? So my kids have chores. Um, and so they each clean bathrooms. Um, we have two bathrooms. And so the older two each get a bathroom. Um, and my husband does the laundry and I do pretty much all of the cooking. Um, and my kids unload and load the dishwasher and do things like that in the kitchen and they vacuum and just do like little things like that because the little things like that, those are the things that set me over the edge, right? So if the family room isn't picked up and I trip on a shoe, I'm going to lose it. Like <laughs> that's the type of stuff that leaves me like crying in the, in the corner, right? Because it's like, oh my God, the house is a mess and this is that, right? If you're anything like me, <laughs> it's the little thing that kind of sets you over the edge. So please ask people for help because you are building a business, right? And you need to treat it with the respect that it deserves. And part of that is carving out the time to be able to do your business. And so I am always at the ready to do my business, whether it's, you know, having my, my AirPods with me. I almost always carry my notebook in the car. Even if I never touch it, it's there in case I need to take a note or something like that. I'll call people back even if I don't have an answer for them. I'll just call them back and be like, hey, I'm so sorry, not from my computer. When I get home, I'm going to look that up for you, give you a quick call, um, or even just kind of talk them through whatever it is that, that I can. Um, and so just do things to capitalize on your time so that you can, um, you know, and plugging people into the champion stuff. So I know this sounds crazy because it's not quite, <laughs> it's not quite maybe the time saving tips that you were thinking about as a mom, but this is real, you know, and we're all trying to kind of do all these things and wear all these hats and, um, and it's okay. Right. Because I want all of those things. I want to be able to do all these things and have the privileges of being able to drive my kids to their things when I can. And, um, but I am not afraid to ask for help. Like my mom lives about 10 minutes from here and I'll be like, mom, can you pick Ella up at six? Cause I've got to get ready for my meeting. I haven't eaten anything yet. And I'm still working on stuff. So, um, so it's really important to just kind of look ahead and see what your schedule is. And if you've got a crazy week, do anything you can beforehand to take some of that pressure off of you. If it is meal prepping, meal prepping. If it is buying extra underwear so you have enough to get through the week without doing laundry, do it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that kind of stuff. It's real. Okay. <laughs> so whatever it takes, just do those things. You know, I do a lot of pickup of food. Like I don't really go into the stores that much anymore. I do Costco because unfortunately they don't have Instacart in the area. Um, but, um, you know, I pick up my groceries. So I order them when I'm like laying in bed, trying to chill out and do things. And I'm planning out the food for the week and stuff. And that saves so much time and it actually saves so much money. Like seriously, because you're not like walking around like, oh, look, it's a $5 DVD bin. And you're like putting some in your cart, right? So, um, so that helps. So those little things, they add up and they will save you a lot of time and money when you utilize them. And none of these things are things that cost you really any more money because anymore you can pick up your food for free typically, and you don't have to charge for that and all that good stuff. So, um, so I hope that some of those ideas helped, right? Okay. All right. Thanks. Yay. Thank you. I love those ideas. And you know, I do the same. And what we're doing here at the house is we use Alexa. And we say, Alexa, add onions to my grocery list. And she's adding onions to your grocery list. And um, it works great because then when you go to the store, you just pull up your Alexa app and your grocery list is there. And so I can sit here in front of recipes and add everything to my grocery list. Then go to whoever goes to the store has the grocery list. So uh -huh. it works okay, I'm doing that because I wasn't doing that. And that's totally happening now. But we All have right. Google, but it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, happening super, super. And it's so easy and i have to tell you she's really my friend and and what's so nice about it is it doesn't matter who goes to the store the app is there so on on anybody's phone so all right so next woohoo we have a, a wonderful surprise for you and that is um <laughs> we're gonna have mama of five. But before we do that, we want to find out our guests. How many guests do we have with us tonight? We have Just two tonight. Pam. Two guests. All right. What are their names? Sheila and Vicki. All right. Welcome, Sheila. Welcome, Vicki. And so Alexa, I need a number between one and two. Two. Who is number two? 
Vicky. Vicky, congratulations. You are the lucky winner on our guest draw tonight. So you need to um, message me or have whoever invited you message me and let them know that you were the guest winner tonight. Now you get the $30 um, gift card from Tupperware. So that's a big winner tonight, okay? So it's a $20 Amazon card earlier and swag bags, but the 30 is the big one. So congratulations to you, girlfriend, for winning $30 in Tupperware. You get to pick anything you want and get $30 off. Uh, so congratulations, big congrats uh, to you. Next, we're gonna hear from our mama of five, five daughters. Can you imagine having five daughters? Huh, five daughters, let's give it up and find out mama shark ideas from the mom of five, our star director, Jenny Cheatham. Yeah, a lot of you that don't know me because we haven't been to the studio and you, you know, just haven't had the chance to meet me. Um, I did have five girls when I had the youngest one, the oldest one was nine. And then because that wasn't enough fun, we um, took in a special needs foster son that we had for almost 30 years. So by the time we threw him into the mix of all those girls, Michael thought he was like evening the odds, but that didn't help at all. Um, I want you to know we had one bathroom all that time. And so there are a lot of things you can do because moms, when you don't take care of you, you can't take care of anything else. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but if you're stressed, it kind of goes all the way through the house. It starts at the top and goes downhill. And when little kids get stressed, they don't necessarily handle it well, <laughs> okay? So, and I know a lot of you have kids that are all in school or you're homeschooling them. And that's kind of a whole different schedule. I did homeschool my older ones for a couple years while the little ones were at home too. Um, but it was different because my kids didn't have to be on the computer at any particular time. We could do it when we wanted to. And because we did that, it was, like working your own schedule. My two older kids did three hours of schoolwork in the afternoon while their sisters napped and played, and then they did the rest of it after seven o'clock at night when the little ones were in bed. But um, you can't do that because they have to be online with their teachers. But those of you that have little, little ones at home, people that aren't in school yet, and they are just with you 24 seven, and you love them to death, but then there are those days, right? So I just have some things that I found were easier for me to kind of make the day go better and give them a little bit of purpose, okay? So me time. When you need to find me time, the first things I started doing was getting up earlier than everybody else in the house. Now that sounds kind of horrible to start with, but once you get used to it, if, if people can get up at five o'clock in the morning to exercise, I can get up at six o'clock in the morning to have a cup of coffee by myself at the kitchen table before all the crazy starts. And when that happened, everybody had a better day. So, and my kids even knew if they got up and they came downstairs and I was still drinking that first cup of coffee, they would go through the kitchen, go to the bathroom and they would go back upstairs because it was just like, it was like, give mom five minutes, it'll be okay. Um, but take that five minutes or 10 minutes in the morning and just relax. Don't pick up your phone. Don't start doing all that other stuff. Just give yourself a few minutes to breathe and get ready for the day. Um, some of the other things you can do is when you have five minutes, and I know sometimes you think I just don't have five minutes. You really do. They get to playing. When they're playing and they're happy, take that five minutes. And when you're working your business, schedule some posts in that five minutes. Do you know how many posts you can schedule in five minutes? Make a couple phone calls. Um, address a couple envelopes. I, I used to do that all the time. And the kids that are in school, if they're home with you, sit down with them and do your work with them at the table or in the room where they're doing their schoolwork. Work with them. I used to do that with the kids with homework. When they had their homework, I would do my work at the same table they did. We were all in the same place. I could help them if they needed it. And they felt like I was there with them. Uh, the, uh, some of the other things, okay, when you have little kids, little kids have more energy in a half an hour than you have the rest of the day. But if you help them get rid of some of that energy, makes your life a little bit easier. So in an hour or so, right, just set an alarm, set, a, set an alarm on your watch or on your phone or set a timer and give yourself 10 minutes 
turn on some music, have a dance party with the kids. Get them moving, get them making um, some physical activity for themselves so that they can get tired. Take them outside for a walk. You have that 10 minutes or 15 minutes, sometimes it's really amazing and it turns into longer and that's okay. Um, story time. And I'm not talking like you have to go to bed now, I'm gonna tell you a story. Just tell them stories from when you were a kid or something about grandma, something like that. They love to hear that kind of stuff. And it gives you a little bit of break too. Um, you can use time in the car. And I know, I know a lot of people do this. Time in the car when you're waiting to pick someone up or time in the car whenever you're um, sitting in the parking lot. Like now, whenever you go to the doctor's office, you're sitting in the parking lot. Um, Take that time to do a little bit of work on your phone. The kids are usually in the car. They might have, I don't know, my kids never had the video thing in the car, but they had coloring books or a book to look at, a toy to play with. And that gives you a little bit of time too to do what you need to do. But here's the one thing that I do want you to remember, okay? When you're playing with those kids, when you're doing that dance party or taking that walk, when you're playing, play hard because, you know, work hard, play hard. If you're working, work. But if you're playing, if you are with your kids, give them your attention so they don't feel like, you know, you don't have quite enough time for them because five minutes worth of your undivided attention goes a long way, especially as your kids get older. And then the last thing, and this is kind of a crazy thing, but we did this the whole time they were growing up. Admittedly, it works better whenever they're younger because they kind of catch on when they get older but I made things that I didn't want to do a game and they had to earn it, okay? I used to take, we had eight people living in our house. We had more unmatched socks than anybody in the free world. I would take that whole basket full of socks, I would dump it in the middle of the toy room floor, I would set a timer for 15 minutes and tell them that whoever had the most matching pairs of socks at the end of that 15 minutes got an extra snack that afternoon. It was amazing. We could get a week's worth of socks matched and put together in baskets in no time at all, okay? They loved it. Um, the other thing we would do was laundry folding. My kids all had their own laundry day because it was the only day at one point in time, four of them wore the same size. And I'm talking teenagers wore the same size. So I couldn't do laundry because I would put the wrong jeans in the wrong drawer or the wrong shirt in the wrong room. And if you guys have teenage girls that are the same general age, that does not work, okay? So everybody had their own laundry basket, they had their own color laundry basket, they had their own color bath towels, okay? <laughs> I actually bought towels that were their own color, matched their toothbrush so that it made my life easier. And they had their own day. Um, they did their laundry, they folded their laundry, they put their laundry away, and they made deals with their sisters to wash shirts that they wanted washed when it was not their laundry day. That was fun to listen to. A lot of dishes got done over that one shirt that needed done. When they were little, they couldn't, they weren't allowed to do dishes. They had to earn the right to play in the bubbles in the sink. Okay, now most of you have dishwashers now, but still, it was fun. And they, to this day, some of them still think the dishes are fun because they can play in the bubbles. Um, the other thing that you can do, and this is more of an organizational thing, modular mates, guys, rectangular modular mates in the bathroom, if you have more than one child, are amazing. Everybody gets their own modular mate, it goes on a shelf, you put their name on it, and everything they need for life is in that modular mate. And they can take it, they, and when they go like to grandma's or to somebody's house, all they have to do is pick up the modular mate and take it with them. The toothbrush is in there all that good stuff that they need to have. And as they get older, the makeup's in there, the, the you know, pre rinse or the um, shampoo, the different kinds of whatever, we, I won't even tell you what our bathroom looked like, the shampoo and conditioner and all that good stuff. But those are just some of the things that, it, they're not really business things. But again, if you're more organized and you're happier, your business is gonna go better and your day's gonna go better and your kids' days are gonna go better. So just, you know, love them while they're little because now mine's anywhere from 30 to 40 and they're loving their own kids. And I can tell you that's fun to watch. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much.
I think you have to turn your volume down. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Miss Jenny. Um, and that was so fun. And you know what? She's a pro. She's got five girls. But I will tell you that whole idea of the um, colored towels, my daughter-in-law does that. And you know, the, my kids, I'd be like, who left their towel in the bathroom? They'd be like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Well, now, who left their towel in the bathroom? If it's blue, it was Carson. If it's purple, it was Dylan. And if it's pink, it was Presley. So there's no getting out of it. It's really fun and super cute. So that color theme is a fun thing, fun way to help kids be responsible. All right. And so, you know, this whole meeting has been around Mama Shark taking care of mama's business and whether it be in the business and the family or if it be in the home. Uh, the real important thing we're looking at right now, because of what our country's going through, there's been a lot of extra stress and we just want to help you out. And you know, some of those that have gone before you have learned some things to help with the stress and um, help with the organization of kids, whether they're in school or homeschool. And I know Jenny homeschooled her kids for a few years uh, back years ago. And um, I will tell you, I put my kids in private school, ran them all over. I would get up in the morning and keep running all day, running the Tupperware business because um, at one time, my kids were four years apart. And so I had a high school, a junior high, and an elementary, and that was crazy. And you know, all of that um, really did work out to be great college time, sometimes one-on-one -on -one with, with one child. Um, and so just look at the perks and the benefits of what your life is right now and enjoy the journey because that is the one thing I can tell you that you'll look back on someday and think, yeah, I wish I had a messy living room because the kids that were in it, you know, because there's going to be time when they're all grown up and all gone <laughs> and you'll miss that. And so enjoy the journey and love every day, organize and keep things sim uh, in, in a systematic system for you. Remember, we have our freezer mates to organize your freezer. We have our modular mates to organize your pantry. We have our fridge smarts to organize your produce. We have our clear mates now to organize your refrigerator. And all of that comes together to helping you be a happy mom. And you know, my husband always says, happy, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and keeping yourself happy so you can lead a happy home. And so it really is a domino effect when mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And so work hard on making sure that you go the extra mile to organize the world for your family. All right. And Tupperware comes into play with that and does such a great job. All right, let's go back to our slides and share our screen because we're almost done. And um, we are looking at our parties up. Let's give it away. And uh, we're going to give away our parties up draw. And this is a $30 win as well. And so one lucky winner gets to win the parties up draw. And so Jenny, you've got your list and up. Look at our top party up girls. We have Christy Greer with 19 and Angela Beck with 15 and Kathy with 15 and Nicole with 15. That's Nikki. All right, and several with 10. Look at that, Sarah Young with 12. And so we have our teams here on uh, top team is Christy Greer teams with 73. Angela Beck has 50 and Nikki has 50. Congratulations. And so what's our total to uh, parties up is uh, 617. Alexa, give me a number between one and 617. Oh, Sarah Young, congratulations. You so deserve it, girlfriend. You have been working the business and I love seeing you win. So message me. Now remember, you have 24 hours, no exceptions. I will tell you, I'm doing that to keep these drawings in place because if I have to constantly go two and three weeks back, it was driving me crazy and I was just gonna be like, forget it, no more drawings. And I thought, wait a minute, let's put standards in there. And so 24 hours to get to me and to get your gift, okay? Thank you and congratulations, Sarah Young. All right, guys, don't forget, we have this in the last four weeks of the month, when you sell $1,000 and have one recruit, you get the night shirt for $5. If you sell $750 and have two recruits, you get the night shirt for, um, for uh, $5. And if you have $500 in sales and three recruits, you get the night shirt for $5. So you pick the way you wanna earn the night shirt and everybody can have a night shirt 
and you can sleep and dream Tupperware, <laughs> okay? So that's the last three weeks of September. It doesn't end until September 30th. From September 3rd to September 30th, you wanna make sure you're hitting those numbers. There are so many perks. Don't miss what Tupperware is offering you as well. Exclusive um, apron and tablecloth to managers and above. When you earn your unit and your team sales goal, so check that out. And for each and every one of you, when you have $500 in sales, you get the money bag. When you have $1,000 in sales, you get the backpack. And $2,000 in sales this month, you get the water bottles. I love those water bottles. Those are metal and they're, they keep things ice cold. They're insulated metal and you'll really like those water bottles. Then we also have directors and organization leaders for making your two plus manager um, count. You are going to get the, um, uh, the Tupperware station for all your USB cords to go into and then we opt uh, for power and then we are closed uh, we are working with our current flyer oh my I love the clear clearly elegant bowls and the sheerly elegant bowls are so pretty and they look like glass they are very durable your crystal wave which is so popular airtight liquid tight of course like the uh, like all of our round seals but having the rocking cap and made for the microwave. These are microwave stain guarded. And so what that means is your fridge smarts, your freeze smarts, um, and the crystal wave are all stain guarded. And so when you put your food in them, if it's a red sauce or something like that, it's not gonna stain. Now your vent and serve is naturally stain guard and you're clearly elegant and surely elegant, but your, um, your more flexible plastics we have a new stain guard, which is patented by Tupperware and Tupperware only, that curry sauce and red sauces will not stain them. And then we have two other products that are fun, fun, fun in the pink and the cranberries. Um, so look at those and enjoy. Don't forget this little ad a party. So add anybody that dates a party, they get a little uh, independent, little um, fun three ounce uh, water bottle. Super, super cute. So guys, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Did we miss any of our drawings? 77 people on okay i saw it up to 80 so we have to give away four okay and so we're put your face on the screen we want to see you and so you can have a chance to win and we need names in there so if you don't have your name in there if you go up to your uh square and you uh you uh push on the three dots you can push on those three dots and scroll down to rename and you can rename yourself so it can actually say Barbara Clark, because we don't know what um, Motorola is or whatever it comes up, okay? We don't know what that is, and it makes it very difficult for us. And so right now we have 77. Alexa, I need a number between 1 and 77. Three. Well, that makes it easy. Congratulations, Diane Smith. You just won Pam swag. Yay! All right. Congratulations, Diane. Alexa, I need a number between 1 and 77. 46. And it's Donna Combs. You just got Pam swag, Donna Combs. Yay, way to go. All right, Alexa. 48. 48. So it's Barbara Ann. Congratulations, Barbara Ann. Yay, you won Pam swag. Alexa, I need a number between 1 and 77. 56 is Kathy Swick. Congratulations, Kathy Swick. Thank you for having your name on there for me. And you're the lucky winner of Pam Swag. Yay! All right. And so if you just won, you just send me a message and give me your address. And it just saves me time from looking it up. And I thank you for that. Uh, say, I just won Pam Swag on uh, Tupper Tuesday. And today's date is uh, September the 15th. All right. I'll see you next week. And next week is daddy shark all right and so we're going to hear from some of our tupper men and it's going to be a great demo we're going to ask some tupper men to cook for us and so you don't want to miss next week because you know how funny it is when the tupper guys start working in the kitchen with us and we're definitely going to have jimmy helping us out in the kitchen next week so you'll get to see jimmy cook okay <laughs> right jim yeah <laughs> He said, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Bye, everybody. Have a really terrific week. Oh, by the way, big news coming tomorrow. You want to make sure you get up, get ready to run your day. Have a great day. Um, big news is closing tomorrow night. Okay, we're closing tomorrow night, Thursday morning. Make sure you get up. You need to make a habit of it every Thursday. Get up and get on the computer. Check out what's going on. It's a new week on Thursday every single week. And this week has big news. You've got to get on. It's all about big news this week. No reason to hold anything, but definitely a reason to get up and check out what's going on. Okay? All right, guys. Bye-bye.